We're going to Landfield North. This is my first time seeing the uh, 442. It looks nice. Oh. Oh. Man. Walking through the train, which is really looks really cool, by the way. All right, you could stand at the doors. Press AWS. You know what's funny, Mike, is literally underneath the uh, couple, it, coupler, it looks like that's the horn. I don't know. Landfield. North! Well, it just take us to Landfield North. I think this is the first electric train I've ever seen. Like, what do you mean, uh oh? What is that sound? I'm here now. Oh, yeah, it has a weird auxiliary sound. It makes a weird auxiliary sound. Do you want a 30? Hmm? You told me that yesterday. Yep, we're going the right way. Yeah, we're coming up to Lanto North now. Wow, that was fast. Alright, drop me off here. You should be able to fit in the platform. I mean, there's no signal that'll bug you. go a little closer. There you go. Stop there. Mike, why are you still moving? 
Uh, okay, that's weird. I guess. Wait a minute. Uh, just let me get out from the front end, I guess. I can glitch my way out of here. Should be able Oh, I could just go out the front. Okay, I'm s legit stuck, too. Wait, try and sleep. I can figure out a way to get out of here, I think. Yeah, some some way, sometimes there's some ways you can glitch out of the train. If you keep trying hard enough. Just keep going, I guess, unless I find a way out. Unless it's, I found a way out. I died. No. I died. Mike, I died. I'm coming back. I'm tr I'm teleporting back. Wait, do I just go? For Mike, I'm just gonna run from landfield. I guess. I don't know. And I'll run over there. Yeah, just... Mike, just change ends and then stop, come back, come stop at landfill to pick me up. Because I am... This is ridiculous. Because there is no signal. Oh, there is a signal at landfill north, but... Mike, it, it it's because technically it's a level crossing. It's a level crossing. I mean, it has no gates, but it is a level crossing, so you do have to wait for the gates. It, 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 that's how the game works, okay? Remind me to actually tell. You know what? I'm gonna you could drop this time you're gonna you could drop me off at landfill. I don't know, I'm just gonna run over to landfill north again. Just keep going, Mike, and then I don't know, maybe bring in another train, I guess. Any train works, I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot where like where that joint where all that track joint is. Just bring a freight train some Mike, I guess. Bring it, I guess, bring a class 70 with a, like five cars or something. Since the class 70 has those, has all those, does the heavy, since those freight locomotives have heavy thumping sounds. Mike, I'm actually on the tracks, I'm right outside, the, right alongside the tracks where the joints start. Anyway. It's the top of the food chain! Stand here and wait for you to bring another train. Uh, do the 142 next. Like, just make this a multiple compilation of different trains, I guess. We're back. After a little bit of an update, got some new, got some fixes here on it. No, I thought I was talking to a brick wall for a second. 
I thought I would talk to the brick wall. I haven't heard from him in every hundred years. We're at the um, Backstro... Backstro... Backstro box. Keep me posted when you're getting close to Ashbury. We're using the 150... One Class 150, set. class 142 pacer set. That's <laughs> 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 Oh, there, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now it's, now we're, now it's good. Now the video is entertaining. <laughs> That's what it did today, boy. I'm crossing by the crossing. <laughs> Oh, you're crossing by the crossing. Yeah, that makes sense. Man, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> under a bridge. You're under a bridge. Pulling up to a station. Seuss. Now, if you guys are wondering what the heck am I doing on a on a Roblox simulator of a train of a European train game. Well, that's because of the fact that I like UK trains as much as my American trains. Because they are both good. Sellercroft. You're coming up sell Sellcroft? So I'm gonna correct you until you get knocked in. A nice day, a nice early morning at the beach. I don't know why local time it says uh, it's dark for me right now. Local time, apparently the person who owns the game, so that means that's UK time is what local time is. Mike DMs. That's what I, uh... And we're back again after some Yep. After some after some slight slight things. You know, in that time span of you guys waiting for us to come back, we decided to take a trip to Hawaii. No, I'm just... <laughs> yeah, it would have been nice. <laughs> would have been nice. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's like this. You know, it's like this. It's really a good forward to it. Coming up to a bridge. No, Mike. No, Mike, it's like this. So we packed the sandwiches and all that other stuff. It was really looking forward to it. It was like this, if I hear about your sandwiches once more, I shall give them to the ducks. <laughs> like this. Your can's old. Quiet! No, no packs on! That's Barrel's can. Fuck it, fuck it! Me posted. Like you'll know you're here near Ashbury because you said that there's grass on the track and there is some deep grass here. Hmm. Maybe I should go touch it. That's like this. 
Take off your headset, turn off your computer, open the door, and just go touch the ground. <laughs> What's at this? Your life is everything. You serve all purposes. You should treat yourself now. Yeah, no, no. What are speed limits? I mean, I've never heard of them. Turn right, turn right. Turn right to go. Mike. Turn right to go left. Yes. Thank you. Or should I say no thank you? Because an officer will maybe that really means thank you. No. Throw him out of here, Sheriff. I want him out of our courtroom. I want him out of our town. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I'll put him in. That's no, like this. I'll put him into. I'll put. I want to put him in the jail till the jail rot. No, check that. I want. I'll put him in the jail till the jail rots on top of him. Then I'll put him. Then I'll put him in a new jail and what that would want on top of him too. I throw him out of the jail. If I want him out of my courtroom, I want him out of our town. <clears throat> I love. I love that movie. I miss Paul Newman. He's such a great actor. And the, and the fact that he was a real, really was a racer. But um, look, apparently, contra, uh, apparently contra, contrary to popular belief, he's actually not. He didn't race the, the, the Hudson Hornets in, in races. Someone else did. Yeah, the Hudson One, one of the greatest race cars of all time back then. It wasn't just in the cars, in the first, that was a real car. The fabulous Hudson Hornet was a real car. It is getting a good peek there, city boy. <laughs> you want to know something interesting that I didn't realize? On Sheriff's model, on the bot, on Sheriff, on on the sides of his, on the sides of him, he has those curve feelers, which were those things that would vibrate if you were close, just at the perfect angle, the perfect inch, inch from like perfect angle from the curb edge when you were parking. Those were those were a common thing on cars back in the back in the fifties. Of course they The old rickety old bridge. No. Lightning! Hey, Lightning, you ready? Would you shut up? I'm trying to prepare it. Here. Wait, wait, not what to do. I just don't take me out, coach. I can still race. <laughs> Yo, get to join to me on that trip. You're gonna pick me up at Ashbury, though. I'm just gonna ride in 142. No, it's like this. Dynaco is all mine. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, fellas. How do you think I'd look in Dynaco blue? Oh, whoa. No. No, they're just in your dreams, Thunder. Yeah, Thunder. What do you mean by Thunder? Oh, you know, because Thunder always comes after lightning. Oh! Mm -hmm. And then it's like, and then what? Yeah, the helicopter. It's like it's. I, I'm more happier than a tornado in the trailer park. <laughs> you know, it is really cool, though, how he, it's like this. I appreciate it. Thank you. Actually, there is one thing. Yeah, that was reused in like both first and second movie. Yeah. No, 
it's like this. Hey, wait a minute, that's just the same voice actor over and over. What kind of cheap, what kind of cheap cut budget movie is this? Oh, what kind of a cheap cut rate production is this? <laughs> that's because of the fact that jo John Ratzenberger, he voices almost, he's had a, a voice in almost every Disney Pixar movie to date. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this. Hey, wait a minute. That's, they're just using the same actor over and over. What kind of a cheap rate, a cheap rate production is this? Hey, wait, what kind of a cut rate production is this? <laughs> That's like this. That's right. <laughs> you know what was really funny though? I think it was really funny how, like, with, I remember when the, the, the tractors, the, the tractors were all over the road, and I was like, this, oh man, the paint's still wet! And then Red literally, like, stopped them in their tracks, going, Arr. He really, you know, for a silent fella, he's really good. He, you know how he, you know what he's doing, you know, you know he's, he's obligated to do his, his duty. I always wonder, I always wish, he, I wonder, I always wondered why he never spoke, but I get it, he's just a silent fella. And I was like this, what, what, why is he, why, why, why did he do that? Ah, oh, he's just, he's just a little bit shy and he hates you for killing his flowers. <laughs> or it's like this, it's like this. <gasps> Wait a minute! I knew you, I knew, I, no, I know you wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Oh no, it's like this. You know I knew this girl, Doreen. You the girl. She was like a jaguar. Only she was a truck. <laughs> Look just like a jaguar. Only she was a truck. <laughs> no, may no. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ricky this. Whoa, old do you know who Ricky the like, old do you know who you're talking to? Mike, do you know who you're talking to? This is Lightning McQueen. I can handle anything. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah. I have to charge you no. something, something down. Legal so. fee. No, it's like this. No, Mike, it's like this. What? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know this may be a bad time right now, but you owe me thirty-two thousand dollars in legal fees. <laughs> Remember at the end of the movie when he, when uh, McQueen did the backwards driving? It's like this. I taught him that. Ciao. Ah. <laughs> what was really neat is that maybe ah. it's so awesome. Right. Mike, here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. It's really cool because if you if you think about it, Mater couldn't do that at first. He tried it before and he almost blinded himself. But then over time, he it was a care. It was a, like continuity. He managed to do it right. He did. He learned to do it, and that's why he did it properly at the end of the movie. It's a character. It's a character. Like a build up to character. It's really cool. Like, even in the movie, you can see how Lightning has, how Lightning King's ego goes from being self-centered to accepting help from friends. Like, he, that's why he has this, why, in the beginning of the movie, he didn't, he didn't care about his, his crew, but his pit crew. But then later on in the end of the movie, he helps the king finish his final race, even though he just lost, he just gave up the picnic cup victory. Because... Did what in this cup? You weren't. Because it is. He, he won three piston cups. Mm. He did what in this cup? Yes, I do. I know it is. Mike, I've never seen. I ain't seen no. That race, Doc, going racing. I, I ain't seen Doc go a little more faster than 20 miles an hour. I mean, have you seen him race? <laughs> it's like this. How about the flame jump? Or how about. Or no. Von Dutch style, huh? Yeah. Van Such. No, it's like this. What about the flame job? Or, look, Von Dutch style, huh? <laughs> yeah. Van Van look, no, Von Dutch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at this. We don't need directions. I have the GPS. No more maps. Thank you. It's like this. 
Oh, oh well, something to remember is fine. <laughs> okay. Mike, he's like this. Red, would you move over? I want to look at that. I want to look at that sexy hot rod. Remember, is it get is it getting dark out? What was I supposed to do? I'm cruising. Yeah. So, you know, Mike, it actually surprised me though. I still like the references to what the like real life celebrity characters like in cars, Mario Andretti, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Michael Schumacher. Other, other people like that. He, oh, and of course, Rich Petty, King. <laughs> there were so many references to real life races. Or it's like this, don't drive like my brother. Oh yeah, don't drive like my brother. I don't drive like my brother. <laughs> Rusty and Dusty, those were two, those two were based on real people, which were called like Ro Troy and Roy, I think. Like, Something like that, and they, that was one of their catchphrases. No, it's like this don't drive like my brother, and don't drive like my brother. Mm. That's like this. <gasps> Not in my town, you don't. Mm -hmm. That's like this. That's like this. That's like this. He's shooting at me. Why is he shooting at me? Oh, uh, every dog this fast years. I'm gonna blow a gasket or something. <laughs> yeah, no, not like this. He, he's shooting at me. Why is he shooting at me? Oh, I, I haven't gone this fast in years. I, I'm gonna blow. No, I'm gonna blow a gasket. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow a gasket or something. <laughs> Reminds me how in Cars 2, the fact that Sarge... Mike, the fact that Sarge was that, even though he is a retired veteran, he's a retired veteran from the Second World War. No, listen. No, but just listen. In the second movie, because here's the thing, on his license plate it says 41 World War WW2, which is, he was a veteran of the, World War, of the Second World War, I guess. Now here's the neat thing. In the second movie, he's in, he's in contact with his friends of the British military. Which is interesting. Like this. And Sarge is in, co is in, is in contact with his friends in the British military. <laughs> and it's like this. Thanks for the help, Corporal. Anything for one of those mates. <laughs> I love how when they try to run, they he would all of a sudden were greeted by several military, official military guns and lo locked and loaded, including the helicopters. <laughs> is now accessible. Are you almost there? Are you almost to... Are you almost to active Asbury yet? Yeah, I see you coming to me anyway. I actually just see you coming now. I see you on the map. You're not too far from me. Are you recording still? Cool. The entire trip. This movie should be, this video should be entertaining. <clears throat> <laughs> that was not intentional. That I, I, I almost lost my voice there. Hmm, let's Mike, see. Mike, Mike, no, Mike, it's like this. Oh, great. What's wrong? Oh, my, 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 dent, my sticker got dented. Oh, I, uh, oh, I'll call it for you. <laughs> <laughs> just blew the whistle. Like, like, don't, no, it's like this. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll clean it for you. No, 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 you come up to Mac. I know Mac. Oh yeah. That's like this. That's like this. You're not. You're not. You're not Mac. I ain't no Mac. I'm a Peterbilt for darn sakes. 
It was the fast cars, which is pretty much the reference to the Fast and Furious. I think so. I don't know. I see you. I'm here. I'm here. Stop. Uh, I think I can. Hey, wait, you open the doors on the back. Doors are open in the back. No, but I can sit in the cab of the one four two. <laughs> yep, I'm all set. I'm all set. <laughs> Possible. Uh, yeah, actually, Mike, if you run in the train, if you can derail the train still, I think. Don't forget, these trains are the, or this is one of the few games that, at the time, this was one of the few simulators that had interior. It was just models. I like how there's actually lights on inside of the train. I think, I, actually, I think it was, I think it was a good idea that I don't remember that episode. Yeah. Right. Nope, it's a tunnel. Yeah, I can't, I, it's still dark for me, even though it's not even nighttime yet in, 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 our, in, our, in real life.
quiet. The 142, I'm surprised it's not. The way the thing was built, it's a literal bus. Well, the 142 should be the one shaking, because that thing bounced like crazy on it back then. I don't know why. I don't know. It's not glitching for me. Oh, I know we're close to. I know we're coming close. Oh, it's becoming daytime for me now. Oh, I'm in local time. I can set a uh, server. Uh, I think you might want to start slowing down. Yeah, we're coming up to St. Ashcott now. No, you stop. You gotta stop. Now that signal works. Well, that's probably because you have to dominate or something. Probably. Uh, I'm staying right here. Whoa, that's pretty cool. The signals do what they're supposed to. I'm staying right here. signal just changed. Right. I'm literally overtaking you. I'm overtaking you. <laughs> You have to, okay, you have to pass this signal, I think, to keep going. You could pass this signal or whatever, and then you stop some more, I guess, I don't know. I thought it, I thought it didn't, I thought it ended. Uh... Don't be so sure. Let me just change the set time. I don't want to be able to see. I can't see. No, I, I could. I just changed set time. Wait, I'm, I'm still running alongside you, so. That's a class 66. It's a maintenance train. Wait, this engine has a bell on it. Wait, I'm still coming. I'm still running along with you. 
Yeah, that's ballast. It's ballast. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, where are you going? Mike? What just happened? Wait. Oh, that makes no sense. Mike, unless the station is not even built yet. You take a screenshot and post it in there. I'm not doing that. Did you change ends? I, I, I'm seeing this too, Mike. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that too. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, you can. Mike, this is literally just the state of an invisible track. What? Where is it going? Where on earth? Oh my god! Oh, what? Um... Uh... Well, at least we have video proof. <laughs> Mike, at least we have video proof. Try wrecking... Mike, try wrecking the train. Oh my god, how fast are you going? Whoa, jeez! Wait, what? That's what I'm done, I don't even know. What are you back on the rails? You're almost back on the rails. I guess. Yeah. Well, folks. Well, I don't know what's gonna go. I don't know what's going on here, but. I'm coming for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I wish there's a way I could just turn it. I don't know. This is a broken glitch. There's a state, there's a 
Mike, there is a Mike, there is no steering wheel on this thing. Yeah. That is not a steering this thing don't have a no steering worm. wheel. No worm. I've been recording this the whole time. C I R C L E. All around me are random trees and the uh, a broken train. Broken train. Mike, I don't even think it's 